using soil for your plants. Stop doing that and save your money. This is a mixture of coffee grounds and tea leaves that have been used. If you drink coffee, if you drink tea, you can save those and use it for soil. Why would you want to do this? Well, a couple of reasons. One is that it's, it's very nutrient rich, very high in nitrogen. So it's good for your plants. You can see I've got a new, new plant right in there. And I've got another one somewhere. It's not quite coming out yet. But there, there it is somewhere over here. Um, and the other reason you'd want to use this is that uh, it's, it's good for the environment because you're, you're saving um, all that energy and waste that uh, gets used to transport soil to the store for the people to, um, you know, sell it to you. Um, so this is just, it's, it's, it's a closed system. You make your coffee and that's your input and then you use the waste output as an input for soil. And so then you can grow another plant. And this is just a decorative plant here. This could very easily be uh, a pepper, which I can put in the windowsill. Um, and I almost contemplated doing that, but uh, in fact, I may still actually just take this out and put it something else, and then put a, put a pepper in there. I have three peppers. I guess the other thing that this is good for is that you're not using topsoil that's been taken from another location. So you're generating soil, and soil, if you think about it, this should be free. Soil should be something that we get free from the earth, just like our food. Just like our place to live, everything should really be free. We should get our soil free. And this is how you can get it for free, is by just using your waste. And in this case, I'm using coffee grounds. And if you, if you don't have enough money to buy coffee, then what you can do is go to any coffee shop and ask them for their old coffee grounds. And most of the time, you'll be able to get old coffee grounds from the coffee shop. So you can always get uh, free soil. You don't have to do any fancy composting, you don't need a compost bin, you don't need a worm bin, um, just old coffee grounds, all you need.